At Oculus, we believe VR is a fundamentally new computing platform, one that we'll use every day to work, play, and connect. As Hugo mentioned, we're constantly pushing forward in hardware. But this morning, I'm excited to share more about how we're also realizing this future through software. Over the past year, we've rebuilt Rift's core software experience from the ground up to lay the foundation for the future of VR computing. We call it Rift Core 2.0, and it's the biggest update to Rift yet. <laughs> core 2.0 makes Rift more powerful, more intuitive, and more personal. Today, I want to introduce two of the most important new systems in the Core 2.0 update. We've been looking forward to sharing with these with you for a very long time, so let's dive right in. First, we've taken all the functionality that was in Universal Menu and Oculus Home, and we've replaced it with a brand new system interface designed specifically for touch. I'm excited to introduce your new command center for Rift, Oculus Dash. So Dash puts the power of Rift at your fingertips. Everything you need is available in Dash. Your apps and games, your friends, settings, and notifications too. You can bring up Dash anytime, anywhere. We've made it instantly accessible. And it runs as a 3D overlay, so it opens inside your current experience. There's no need to go back to home. You just open up Dash where you are. And where the old UI was designed for gamepad, we've designed Dash natively for touch. You can just swipe naturally to scroll, and once you've found what you're looking for, you simply tap to select it. It feels great. Dash completely streamlines complex actions. I can easily jump from one app to another directly from Dash. Or, let's say Hugo invites me to play some rec room. I can open up Dash, accept the invite, and we're off. But that's just scratching the surface of what Dash is capable of. And that's because Dash unlocks the full power of your PC, letting you use your desktop apps from inside VR. This is a total game changer. Imagine I'm jumping across the galaxy in Elite Dangerous, and I want to check out the latest music video from Odessa. With Dash, I can take the video in Chrome, pin it to the side, and it stays there permanently as a 3D overlay inside my cockpit. The possibilities here for multitasking with your PC are endless. You can check the, the latest news in a web browser. You could set the perfect playlist in Spotify or even stay in touch with friends over Messenger. And as you can see, this is more than just a mirror of your physical monitor. Your workspace here is infinite. Every application can have its own virtual display, and they can be positioned anywhere at the right size and scale for VR. These are true virtual displays, enabled at a hardware level on the GPU, with best-in-class performance and visual quality, using the same underlying technology that we use for asynchronous space warp. And as hardware improves and resolutions get better, we're now on a path to replacing traditional monitors entirely. It took a huge amount of work under the hood to get this right. A big thank you to our friends at NVIDIA and AMD for all their support. <laughs> Internally, our teams are already getting a ton of benefit from having access to their traditional development tools inside VR. We actually use Dash with Visual Studio to debug Dash from inside Dash. That is as awesome as it sounds. <laughs> and these same workflows work with Unreal and Unity, too. Now, Dash is built using React VR, 
our open source framework for VR UI. This makes Dash super extensible, and we're really looking forward to working with the developer community to add more to Dash in the future. So that's Dash. Altogether, Dash is a massive step forward for the workspace of the future and VR computing. This is groundbreaking technology that you won't find anywhere else, and we're thrilled to enable it first on Rift. Now, the next major highlight of Core 2.0 is Oculus Home. This is what Home looks like today. One of the most requested features for Rift has always been the ability to create and customize your own space. And with Dash taking on more of the platform UI, Home's freed up to be more personal and more immersive. So we leveled home and rebuilt it. Home is now yours to customize and explore. Creating and designing your own space is easy. Everyone starts with a great collection of items to create a space that feels totally unique. We have furniture, toys, even works of art. And you can place these items anywhere in the room using touch. They just snap into place super easily. And of course, you can mess with reality a bit too. Now there are a bunch of fun new features inside Home. Your achievements can be put up on display for your friends to come check out. And your collection of apps actually comes to life as old school cartridges that can be launched from inside Home. You can even play with fireworks or practice your aim from the safety of your virtual living room. We also wanted Home to deliver an even greater level of presence. Now, Home has a much more realistic and vibrant look, with state-of-the-art lighting and dynamic soft shadows powered by Unreal Engine 4. And it looks absolutely stunning in Rift. Finally, your space is now completely persistent. You can share with friends or visit your friends' spaces to see what they've created. You can even leave your friends a note for the next time they log in. This initial update to home is really focused on customization, but we're going to be making it easy for you and your friends to hang out in home and even create shared spaces together in the future. So that's a quick preview of Rift Core 2.0. I'm excited to announce that Rift Core 2.0, the beta, will be available this December as a free update to all Rift users. When it comes to Rift, we are really just getting started. Home and Dash are both fundamental parts of our vision for the future of VR computing. And we're looking forward to sharing much more with you in the year ahead. Thanks so much.